baseball. Softball is worse. Anthony, can you pick up the softball? Right? We, we've got all kinds of issues that go on there. So w once we've got that grip that's firm, think about the fingers, the wrist, and the form are one piece, right? And we're going to lock it in. We're going to keep that grip locked in until we're ready to come. The, the second piece, and I can't say this too loud in case there's any Russian spies around, we've got to feel inside 90. The reason why we call this an inside 90 move, right? Those of you that are taking geometry, right? 90 degrees, Anthony's showing is 90. Watch him go to 110, 120. And we're getting outside that elbow joint. The better throwers, okay, are constantly trying to get inside 90. Think about it from a time constraint standpoint. The catchers, and your shortstops have the best arms because they are under a time constraint to get rid of the ball. Pitchers and even outfielders need to get into this position. So when we keep talking about quick in the back, long in front, we've got to feel that move, okay? So again, you're going to change your grip. I don't care if you're thinking that your, your arm is locked. You're going to be firm with the grip and feel that inside 90. The third piece... And what's going to be the third secret? Our third secret, we got late hip turn. We see a lot of young throwers come in here, and all they want to do is their first move is they want to open up to throw. Yes, you're going to open up, but not right away, okay? We want all our hip rotation to be late and explosive. So it's going to look like this. As soon as my foot lands, that's when I can start to open up. A lot of young, young throwers will come in here. What we see is they start to open up too early, and that's causing them to leak their hips out and then leak velocity. So we want all of our hip rotation to be late and at one time. Hey, one of the drills that we, we do all the time here, whether you're our college guys or whatnot, right? Anthony's going to try to throw, and he's going to really fight to keep his back heel on the ground, okay? The, the key to throwing hard, right, we keep talking about turning, turning, turning. You need late rotation. You've got to turn no earlier than when the foot has hit the ground and you're in that inside 90 area. So a throwing drill that we'll use, Anthony's already on the side, but he's going to deliver a ball right into the black mat. But watch how his back heel is never going to turn. This is called anchoring, and we're really, really going to over-exaggerate that back action. Watch the back heel, okay? Now, that's very different from what most people do. What it gets us to understand is that late rotation makes the most sense, okay? Watch it again, right? And go. The second piece, and this is a drill that I would suggest as part of your warm-up all the time. Anthony's going to go into what we call that javelin throw. He's actually going to go into an inside 90. He's going to lock the wrist, right? He's got that good glove bar going on. Please, children of the world, people that watch Star, don't be pointing the glove. We don't point the glove, and we don't pull it into our armpits, okay? We set the glove bar in front of us to help us stay back. Now, from that position right here, all we're asking Anthony to do is unwind. And I'll say that again. The better throwers throw from a three-quarter arm slot. They don't throw overhand. So Anthony's in that javelin 90 throw, and watch how the back heel is going to stay on the ground, and he's going to unwind to throw and fire, okay? If we were on the front, you would see him more in an arm slot of where he is out over here now. That is not sidearm. That's the unwinding of the arm, all right? We're going to join the class right now. They're just getting done with some love the glove. Love the glove is our way of just simply taking the glove, right, and using it as an overload training to get the shoulders and get the elbows getting going. If you can notice that a lot of the tubing work that we do, we're just using this with a glove now, right? And again, as you watch some of our players in the velocity class, um, this is all about movements for, that are initiated by the shoulders. When you're doing these moves, just make sure that it's the shoulder right, that's initiating the movement. It's not, it's not the ball or it's not the glove. We're actually now right in the middle of the beginning of the class. This is our arm velo class. This is all about arm patterning, right? This is just getting, whether you're a pitcher, a position player, baseball or softball, uh, understanding right now you're going to see the application of those three moves that we just talked about, right? I'm just going to move over, over out over here, right? The only thing we're going to do, we're going to ask these guys to open up their front foot, right? And just for purposes of staying consistent, right? Keep your back heel on the ground, right? Let's see if Joe and little Damari can unload this ball. Do not let the back heel release until the ball hits the net. Very good, right? Fight to stay sideways is the teaching term that we're constantly using over 
and over again. Fight to stay sideways, right? You'll see Anthony kind of setting them up in that inside 90 angle, and then from there, it's uncoiling. Can't say it too loud. There could be some Russian or Chinese spies inside the facility, right? Frankie's going to really fight to stay sideways as long as he can. We mentioned before, yes, we turn our hips, but if we're turning our hips too early, we need to make sure that the ball is on its way past us before we turn, right? Very good. That time Frankie delayed hip rotation and was able to use his hips at the right time. And you need the velocity gun today? No. No? Okay. Hey, Ant, the one thing we noticed this before, everybody knows where their scapulas are, guys that are working out. That, that scap stretching is going to really help swing those hands coming up. You'll, you'll see from the side, I've got Anthony from the back as he's swinging, you're seeing the pinching of those shoulder blades, okay? That's the loading action that's going to allow us to unload those scaps in order for us to throw hard. Keep that back foot on the ground, Brody, as long as we can. Fight to keep the heel on the ground, right? That's a very uncomfortable position. We're just trying to delay hip rotation, right? So by the time we put you guys back on the mound or out in the outfield, right, you're delaying the turning. We turn too soon. This is why so many softball and baseball players, when they're throwing, they're always missing arm side right, okay? And it's a bigger problem once we put guys sometimes on a mound, right? There you saw a baby tomorrow jump off the mound a little bit. Keep your heel on the ground. Heel on the ground. Heel on the ground. Right. There it is. There is the arm action. This is the arm patterning that we're talking about. How do we get the arm to work by itself? And then eventually the legs are going to finish the swing. Right? We got Joe Walter that kind of pulled off that backside a little bit too early. You know, as, as Anthony's in the middle of the class, and I think my voice is coming on too, as an as a instructor or coach, you can't say this term enough. Quick in the back, long in front. Quick in the back, long in front. We see so many arm problems, right, both in arm action with because of the floppy wrist, right? They've been told at a very early age to hold the ball nicely, hold the ball loosely, pretend it's an egg. No, it's not an egg. It's a damn ball, okay? You need to grab it firm, Okay, so that the elbow, the forearm, and the wrist are one piece. And, and the only time that that wrist should have any flexion is that right before it, you get, it's getting ready to throw. That's the only time in which you'll see that slight little hinging action on that wrist. Very good, right. There you're seeing Frankie delay the turning, okay? How long can we stay sideways? That's another teaching term that we use. How long can you stay sideways before the hip fires? There you go. Again, Frankie exaggerating, right? Foot on the heel, right? Heel stays down long enough. Very good. These are drills for baseball and softball. Those of you that are watching softball, good throwing is good throwing, right? Don't let anybody tell you differently that the softball is different than the baseball. Yes, softball has a bigger problem because the damn ball is so darn big, but your arm action and your patterning, as we're talking about, is the same thing. You've got to be even more efficient and make sure that grip is strong, right? You're understanding that we're not taking the the, the circle all the way behind us, particularly in softball, right? You've got less time than the boys do. You've got to be real efficient or be quick in the back, long in front, and be really concerned about rotating late, okay? How long can we stay on the back? You're seeing guys now, once we start moving them, some of them are jumping into rotation a little bit too early. Anthony's going to tell them, hey, this time, let's see who can keep their heel on the ground. Yeah. 
getting out here a little bit too early. You want to stay on the side and feel like you're rotating around it instead of jumping off it. Does that make sense? So just sit back there a little bit. Again, this is not about pitching. This is arm action. No matter what position you play, you heard Coach Erickson talk about it before. The scouts talk about it all the time. Arm action, okay? Who projects to throw harder? That's all a function of how effective the arm works on the backside. Can we be, we be quick in the back, long in front, and really show that unwinding, right? Unwinding is a term that basically says stop throwing the damn ball overhand, okay? You're unwinding into that three-quarter arm slot no matter what position you have. Get a chance to watch these guys one more time. And again, as they're throwing, just make sure if you can, when you start long tossing, don't surrender the good way of throwing. We see so many young players in long toss. Now it's all about throwing the ball as far as you can, which is true. We know that distance equals velocity, but if, if you're undoing the arm action, this patterning that we're talking about, if you're unloading the backside too early, and, and again, you'll see direction on long toss if you're missing a lot of arm side misses, okay, meaning the ball is, is veering off or running to the uh, to your arm side, you're probably turning too early. Even in long toss, fight to stay sideways as long as you can, all right? And see if you can feel that inside 90 move. We want to be quick in the back, long in front. When you guys get that set, just like that last show, I want you guys to really fight to stay close. Once I get here, that's the only thing that comes up, okay? You guys are still leaking just a little bit, a couple of busts, making us lose some of our hip rotation, our range of motion, right? Really have that feeling of close, 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 close. Fight to stay closed. Good teaching term. Fight to stay closed. And if you have to, bury the heel on the ground, right? See if you can unload with the heel on the ground. We got a lot of jumpers here. We got some guys that, that still are turning too early. There you go. Brody that time delayed the hip turn until the hand was up, right? Michael, make sure that glove isn't going into the armpit, right? We keep talking about the glove bar. Set the bar and then drop it. Set the bar and drop it to the right to the groin. Set it, drop it. There it is. Very good. You know, obviously we have to be creative. When we long toss, you can see here we've got different markers up on the screen. We don't have the Tampa, Florida, San Diego nice weather, so we've got to be creative. And we know that those markers up there are going to give us a little bit more distance involved, right? And even though we're in the Northeast like some of you are, we still have to get our long tossing in. But again, we're emphasizing this has to be with the correct way of throwing. We see so many young players, softball and baseball, once we start introducing long toss, right, they blow out of their legs, they start turning too soon, they get overhand again, right, and their grip gets all loose and flimsy. It gets back to the three pieces, the three secrets, and I'm whispering again, there might be some scouts or spies here, right, Make sure the grip is probably firmer and tighter than what you had with the middle, middle, or the thumb, excuse me, in the middle of the ball, right? Buy into the inside 90 move. That ball has to be a lot closer to your ear. Quick in the back, long in front. Throwing is a high elbow position. And again, right, we hope and pray that you are delaying the turning, okay? You're not turning until late. See how long, just like good pitching coaches talk about, how long you can stay anchored on the back leg, okay? In, right, we're, we're now going to be leaving New York. We hope to see some of you soon. And again, right, don't share these three secret moves.